Sam, hip eight. Nicole Hansen, hip nine. Haley Cummings, hip 10. Alexa Callis, hip 11. Jacqueline Overdeer, hip 12. Jillian Walter, hip 13. Lachey Bowens, hip 14. And Meredith Sorensen, hip 15. Four, four Celine girls. It looks as though there were many scratches. Belf and Coleman are in our top two seeds. Barrett's out there. Dobry is also out there of Seaholm. Many scratches in this heat. So we'll identify it as it comes around. Audrey Belf has had a tremendous last seven or eight months ever since the start of cross country. 35 through that first 200. Belf, Coleman, Dobrian, Barrett running in that order. Walter of Celine trying to keep contact. Not sure she has it in her. That group is likely going sub 505, especially up front with Belf and Coleman striding it out on the far end of the track. Seventy, seventy-one. Current record is five oh one held by Aaron Finn. We'll see if that goes down today. I think if the race shapes up well, then it will definitely go down. Belf taking this out hard. She had a great last weekend in New York. Second place in the nation in the two mile, ran ten ten. She's just a junior. Rachel Coleman, a senior behind her, ran in the Emerging Elite Mile last weekend, won it in New York, ran 501. She'll be going to U of M next year. These are two of the top girls in the nation. And they are battling it out right here on our first weekend of indoor track in the state of Michigan. Belf has about 15 meters right now on Rachel Coleman, who's about 15 meters ahead of Marissa Dobry. Coming into the 800, 220, 223, 224, 225, 226 at the 800. Coleman, 227, just a second apart, both sub five pace right now. Neither of these girls should really be tired, although Rachel Coleman did run a DMR earlier today. Er, I apologize, she ran the 4 by 8 earlier today. Belf is completely fresh, hasn't run since last weekend. I would expect some big things out of her. Three flat with three to go. Rachel Coleman not keeping contact but still going to run a very good time. Marissa Dobry and Barrett of Northville. The other two girls completely alone but still going to get carried to a very nice time. I think it's just how this is going to work this year in the state. You're going to run 505 and you're going to get beat. Audrey Belf coming in. She's got 400 to go. 339, 340, 341 with two laps to go. She's only 17 seconds behind the boys, which was obviously a much more conservative race as boys races tend to be. Belf laying it all out here. I'm sure she would like to take that record from Aaron Finn. It's been up there since 2011. I have to believe she's going to get it at this rate. 5.01.38 is that time to beat. Belf is 200 left. She's at 4.18. There's the gun. Rachel Coleman, not far behind, 4.25. She's going to run a great time, but it's all eyes on Belf. Will she get this record? 100 meters to go, 536, 537. 
436, 437. Belf coming into the home stretch. 450. 452, 453, 454. My goodness, not only did she beat that record, Rachel Coleman is going to beat it as well. Audrey Bell, 454, 1 1. Rachel Coleman, 5 flat, 1 1. A tremendous performance from both of them as the record will fall. Barrett, 514. Dobry, 514. Lindsey Graham of Clarkston, 527. Jillian Walter of Celine, 530. Sorensen of Utica, 541. Haley Cummings from Celine. She'll finish about 543, 549.